Hi, this is Irv from Software for Healthcare. On your screen you will see two HICFA forms or CMS 1500 forms. The one on the left is the one that's in use as of January 2014 and the one on the right will be required as of April 1st, 2014. While I'm uh, talking, you might want to try to go to full screen. Just click full screen and then at that little gear at the bottom of YouTube, say high density 720 and give it about 30 seconds to clear up. And then after that, if it doesn't work, go back to small screen. I'll be expanding everything so you can see it uh, well. Okay, both of these forms were printed by DocPro with the latest update. Uh, and but right now I'm just going to stick with the forms and later if you want more you you can go over and look at the tutorials under DocPro. Okay, on the left is the CS, uh, CMS 1500 form that's in use today and it's uh, generally you can identify it from a date down in here that says 805 or August of 05 when it, which is the last time that form was changed. On this one on the right it's uh, coming out, it's dated actually February 12 and also it's got this uh, new 21st century scan code up on the top left. Uh, okay, uh, National Government Services, who is the Medicare contractor for New England, has already announced that they will require the form on April 1st, uh, 2014. And that, I believe, is national as well. Uh, it's a CMS edict. There's only small differences between the forms. I mean, look at the difference between the left and the right. This is really the same patient. Uh, if, you know, it, it, the only differences are going to be down here in the diagnosis, the only significant ones. But they're different enough that you're going to need the new forms. Medicare will require the new forms. So you'll have to throw out the old ones and then also, of course, upgrade your software. So I've probably got, you know, $50 worth of old forms. You probably do too, but we'll have to be just throwing those out. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the forms in a little more detail. If you were to take these two forms and hold them up against, uh, put one on top of the other physically and hold them up against the light or on a window where there's good sunlight, you'll see they really are identical. There's just minor changes in some of the labeling uh, and otherwise the forms are identical. Uh, the big difference is is in the diagnosis and let's go ahead I'm going to blow up this section and this section so let's just make this a little bit bigger and let's uh, bring that over here and we'll do the same on this side uh, and basically uh, the difference is right here box 21 the old ICD-9 forms just have room for four diagnoses uh, and they go one two three, four. And then you tie the diagnosis with this pointer from here. This is diagnosis one is the primary diagnosis. And uh, our Medicare just wants that uh, one, one there. Uh, sometimes we put one, two, three, four if there's up to four diagnoses, but not for Medicare. Over on the new form, things are similar, but you can see they go across. So we're going from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. And now we have a letter A to tie it back to A, but it could go all the way up to L, so you could have A through L. You still can only have four letters here, but they can be, you know, any of the letters from A to L. So you might have A, B, C, D, uh, just like you'd have one, two, three, four. You know, and that's going to be really, really the major differences in the form. So as you've got the diagnoses. Uh, and then if you, otherwise there's just some, quite a few fields that have been dropped, or several, and mainly right in here, under other insured's information, uh, actually B and C here are, have been dropped, okay? Other insured's date of birth and sex, if you come over here, they're just not there anymore, okay? They just said reserve for NUCC. Also, these patient status and employment like single married other employed full-time part-time student that's gone which is nice because that was all confusing stuff anyway nobody could keep, really keep track of that 
and it's now just a big empty spot. You know, and that's 90 percent of what's different on the form, okay? Uh, I'll show you a couple quick little differences and then we'll just say that's that's about it, okay? Uh, and uh, we'll just bring in this back up like that. Uh, I think there's a little difference over in here on just one of the labels. It's very minor. There's a minor difference in here somewhere. Just labels. So that's it. So other than that, uh, if you want to know all the gory details about how to set up DocPro to print the two different forms, uh, you can go to the tutorial. And actually, in DocPro, I think, I don't know if I said that you can print either one so or both or any mixture so you know it's going to be very flexible and this actually is all set for the ICD 10s which will be coming on October so if you want to see more just go to the website and uh, take a look and I hope you have a great day thank you